viewers, welcome to our first concert TV headline. I will return to Nigeria soon, Igboho. Frontline advocate of Yoruba Nation Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, is set to return to the country. Igboho flew the country in 2021 after operative of the Department of State Services DSS stormed his residence in Ibado. Um, so score were killed while others were severely injured in the attack. About 13 others were arrested in the raid. The DSS at the time had said it carried out the raid after intelligence reports revealed that Igboho allegedly stockpiled weapons in his house. A day after launch, a man a manton for Igboho who was subsequently arrested in neighboring um Kotonu Benue Republic while trying to travel to Germany. However, addressing newsmen in Abuja on Friday, Boho lawyer Mr. Pelumi Ola Jegbese said the embattled Yoruba nation activists who had since regained his freedom would soon return to the country. Igbo is doing very well and he will soon be in Nigeria in a very ceremonial way. The arrangements are on um, Ola Jegbese told newsmen. He, however, lamented his inability to enforce a judgment that was delivered in favor of his clients. A situation he said was made difficult by the fact that the consent of the Attorney General of the Federation must first be secured before security agencies could pay judgment debt while calling for a review of that provision of the law. Uh, uh, Molag Bejesi urged the federal government under President Bola Tunubu to have a rethink about people who describe as freedom fighters. Uh, the lawyer maintained that people like Igboho, the detained leader of the proscribed people of Biafra, Ipomnam Dekano, as well as the embattled um, convener of the revolution now protest Mr. Moyele Sonwore deserve to be listened to by the government. Frontline advocate of Yoruba Nation Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, is set to return to the country. Igboho flew the country in 2021 after operative of the Department of State Services DSS stormed his residence in Ibado. Um, so score were killed while others were severely injured in the attack. About 13 others were arrested in the raid. The DSS at the time had said it carried out the raid after intelligence reports revealed that Igboho allegedly stockpiled weapons in his house. A day after launch, a man a manton for Igboho who was subsequently arrested in neighboring um, Kotonu Benue Republic while trying to travel to Germany. However, addressing newsmen in Abuja on Friday, Igboho lawyer Mr. Palumi Ola Jegbese said the embattled Yoruba nation activists who had since regained his freedom would soon return to the country. Alright, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Sunday Igboho. Now, Sunday Igboho is also um, an activist in when um, the Biafra people were doing their own, they want to go, they want to go. Now, Sunday Igboho um, came up as the man, just like Namdi Kanu, is the voice for Igbos. Sunday Igboho is the voice for Yoruba. So he came up with like, ah, Yoruba to want to go. Now we say if we want to go, say, leave us, cheer us, let us go our own way. So um, while they were doing this, they were, um, so Sunday Igboho actually flew out of the country. Mm, why? Because now a particular time like that, some um, DSS got report from some people that um Sunday Igbo held some um some gun some gun some fighting um equipment in his house so which resulted to the DSS raided his compound now and which was, and that resulted um in 13 people being killed in the combat you don't know if it's Sunday people that died or it was a mixed um people that died this crowd you understand so now, Sunday Igbo had to flee out of the country because of those issues and all that. Now, his um, spokesman has, his lawyer, slash his spokesman, has come out to say that Sunday Igbo is coming back to the country. Now, while he was, he was being arrested in Kotonou, in, in Ben, in, is it in Benin? Was, was that, was the devil there? Um... I'm coming to give me a second. It says, okay, while calling for a review of that provision of the law, um, like we all the federal government under president, um, okay, no, 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 this is no way it is. I wanted to us to, I wanted to find out the country that, that they said he was being held before he, because when he wanted to go to Germany, now, okay, I've seen it. He says, it's there after launch a, 
manhunt for Igbo who was subsequently arrested in neighboring Kotonu, Benin Republic, while trying to travel to Germany. So he was being arrested while they were when they were searching for Sunday Igbo. He was arrested in neighboring country in Kotonu because Nigeria and Kotonu are meaning Republic in neighboring country Nigeria. So he was arrested there. He was trying to move to Germany when he was being arrested when he was arrested there. So after everything though, he eventually moved out. And now they're saying that he's coming back to Nigeria. The man is coming back to the country. So everybody should get ready. That Sunday Igbo is coming back. <sighs> okay, so his, his lawyer is saying that he's coming back. Now, while his lawyer was telling people that he's coming back and, he's, he's, and, and he'll be celebrated in a mighty way, beautiful way, and a, a, a big way. Now, he did, the man said, he made mention of people that are being held in the DSS custody, those that, those that are seeking for freedom. Now he said he mentioned. Um, now he said, the lawyer maintained that people like Igboho, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdikano, as well as the embattled convener of the revolution now post, Mr. Omoyele Sowore, now deserve to listen. They deserve to be um, listened to by the government. That these people that are being held in the, that that are, that, are, that are still held in the DSS need to be released, and the government need to listen to them. Every of those people that are being detained have something to say, have a reason why they are doing what they are doing. Now, while um, Sunday Igboho lawyer was actually saying what he's saying, he made mention of these people that are being held, that the government needs to give them a listening ears. And I, 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 I believe so. He needs to listen to them. Because most times, while some people are really arguing on a particular thing, it's because the government are yet to listen to their voice. Now, when the government are able to listen, they, they will not know why these people are dim. Why are they demanding for freedom? Why do they want to go? You know, most people don't just wake up and say they don't want to no, They want to do a particular thing. No. Now, it is, they have a particular reason why they are doing what they are doing. So, now for you to know and to help them stop the agitation, which you don't want, is to listen to them, know why they are doing what they are doing, and find a way to work with them. Nobody wake up and say they want to, they want to fight for freedom. No. Because sometimes what they are doing has been they, they realize it, it, it has gotten to the peak and they can no longer bear, so they needed to go. Set us free, let us go. So just like what the what son the lawyer said, let the government have a con these people have a conversation with them, listen to them, have, listen to their own side of the story. Alright? So let's let, so let's not forget that Sunday Igboho is coming back to Ninja. So it's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna come back in a grand way. So it's gonna be a party, celebration, and all that. <laughs> While we wait for that. We have come to the of today's news. Please do watch by the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.